Aries, this is your monthly soul astrology report for September 2021 for Aries sun sign, Aries rising and Aries moon. All the connections this month, Aries, is all to do with your work, your relationships and your, your well-being. So let's go straight away to... Virgo. So you've got a lot of planets in Virgo at the moment. You've got Mars in Virgo, Sun, and there's a lovely new moon on the 7th in Virgo. And Mercury is has just left the building, has gone into Libra. So let's break this down for you. The sixth house is all about service to others. It's about your daily routines. It's all about your health and your mental health and your well-being. And because the sun is there, that creates a lot of energy for you. You'll be using a lot of energy or trying to find out what's best for you in your life. The way you nurture yourself, the way you love yourself, the way you connect in with yourself. You'll think, Do you know what? I need a new routine. And the new moon will help you even more get that routine and get your health and get your aspirations about work sorted out. If ever you wanted to think about changing your work, the portals here, Mars, having the energy and the drive to change something or switch something up in work, the new moon, starting a new cycle on the 7th, getting things sorted out. On the 23rd, the sun leaves Virgo and goes into Libra, which is really nice for you because the sun shines a light into your house of relationships, how you are with your relationships, how strong are you in your relationships. Doesn't that, This doesn't mean about your ego, it's about what you bring to the table, how you nurture other people and how other people nurture you. Now, Mars is there going to go in from the 15th of the month. So Mars is definitely going to help you do that. And Mercury is there. And then he goes retrograde, stationary retrograde on the 28th. I am beginning to love retrogrades, especially in Mercury, because what Mercury does more than any other sign that is retrograde will give you a chance to go over old ground, to talk about something that's been on your mind with your loved ones or with a loving partnership, your spouse, your marriage partner, or with other people. And it'll help you to revisit something that you need to talk about. If you're on your own and you've got an ex <laughs> that's floating about or as you know, they've been in the background or you've thought about them, this might invite their energy back in. Now, if they were no, you know, they weren't very positive towards you or, you know, it's, it was a negative situation. Obviously, going back to someone who's not is not very loving to you is not a good idea. But somebody who you love or, you know, there was a miscommunication may give you a chance to sort things out again. So that's really nice. And then you look across the road and you've got a beautiful full moon in Pisces in your 12th house, helping you to release any emotional baggage that you've had there, you know, or to nurture yourself even more because... The full moon correlates to your health. If you look across the road, you've got Virgo. And if Virgo, you look across the road, you've got Pisces. So between the two planets, between all the planets that are going on in your health and your well-being and your day-to-day -day routines, then you have lovely Neptune giving you a full moon, which is going to ignite Neptune in Pisces. This is all about your spiritual well-being. You might have dreams, a strong sense of in your intuitive mind. It's very good. So the planets and the relationships to work on is in your partnerships, 
is in how you work from day to day. What do you want to do to improve your day to day life? Do you want a new pet? Because uh, the planets that are in your house of service to others also represent small animals. So you might acquire a new animal into the <laughs> into your daily life and to nurture them and look after them. So, oh, I nearly forgot. Venus just goes into Scorpio on the 11th of September, giving you a sense of connectedness with other people and finances. You might have such a great idea, Aries, to reach out and have a partnership with somebody to do with a business partnership or, you know, on a minor level, you might be able to have that loan that you've been wanting or invest in something that you've been wanting to do. And Venus, bless her, will give you the go 